What's going on everybody, C4, welcome back to the channel today. Double header. Yesterday on Friday we dropped episode 27 of the Eagles franchise, where Derrick Henry and really Zach Wilson had no regard to our win streak, and we, we fell up there. Uh, and I figured today we'll do episode 28. I wasn't planning on recording it, but I am coming down with a cold. It's like one of those like the beginning stages of a cold where it's like, I can still talk right now, okay, decently, you probably couldn't tell I have a cold. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wake up Saturday morning, wanna record this episode anyways, and I'm probably gonna be, you know, just just on one in a bad way, you know? Cause I am also on one right now because this is an impromptu recording. So I just had uh, my supper, had my post supper dessert of hard salad. So we don't know what we're gonna be getting, honestly, here in week 18 to close with the regular season against the nine and seven playoff hungry Jacksonville Jaguars team. But I'm sure it's gonna be a, a good episode, a good little way to spend your Saturdays. And what we're gonna do at the end of this episode is I'm gonna take a look We'll sim to the wild card so that everyone plays their week 18 game and we'll look at our stats we'll look at the league stats we'll look at our own player stats a little bit of a season recap before we gear up on this playoff run so that is today's episode um so a quick look at the playoff picture it will be interesting where are the jacks like they're number four so they need this win because they lose you got the chargers you got the broncos you got the raiders breathing down their neck you look at it for us well we're the two seed right now but a loss here today and much like Jacksonville, we could plummet to depths that are unheard of right now because we are first place in the NFC East, but we are tied with the Dallas Cowboys at 10-6. and six. So we lose, Dallas wins, a couple other teams win. We go from the two seed to like the five or six seed very, very, very quickly. So this is going to be an important matchup for our team uh, as we get into the sky. I actually want to see this because we have our short list and I'm just kind of now like truly paying attention to how much information we get every single week. And looking at our favorites, it is still not nothing. I've got I've gained no information over the last like four weeks. It's brutal, man. Need we need a tweak. No other way about it, man. We need a tweak to the amount of like because like what do I what do you do? What, what like what do I do? Just going through the same information every I want to have more immersion in relation to the scouting and the college players, and there's just nothing. There's nothing there. So, uh, what we can focus on is our weekly strategy, the Jacksonville Jaguars, what we want to do, how do we want to stop Trevor Lawrence and James Robinson. They actually have a top 10 passing offense, which is pretty good. Uh, so, they look like they like to pass the ball and then run the ball in with old Robinson. Let's, so, let's stop. They have top 10 in medium completion percentage. I feel like, I feel like that's probably the way we want to stop them. So, looking at our, our offense, get back there, please. How do I get back? Don't know. B? Sure. Uh, they got Shaquille Griffin. They, whoa, they have a very good defense. Top eight in points per game. Or top eight. Top ten uh, coming in at eight in points per game. Seventh in the league in total yards against. Fifth in the league in passing yards against. So this could be a game, looking at this, they don't turn the ball over for positives. They don't get takeaways. They only have ten on the year. Not really great at you know pressuring the quarterback. This could be a game that we want to try to run at. You know, Miles Sanders right now, head and, you know, neck and neck, head and head with Derrick Henry for the leading rusher in this season. So that's, uh, I, you know, I'm partial to running it inside. So let's focus heavily this week on Miles Sanders. Get through our training. And then we'll get, actually, I kind of, because this guy, it's, it's a roster that I don't know what they would have done here. I, I do want to see what the Jags team looks like. Because, I mean, you know, you think of the Jacksonville Jags, this is only year two. Right, so like they, I feel like they've they've got at least a guy or two in free agency to have this turnaround to be at nine and seven. Because I don't think year two of Trevor Lawrence still going to be a little bit of work in progress there for Jacksonville. So let's take a look here at the Jags. Do they have a bunch of traditional expected players, or have they signed a lot of players? So they got Trevor Lawrence, James Robinson, ETN. You got Lavisca Chanel. They got Jacoby Myers from the Patriots. So they get a nice slot wide receiver. Um, Dalton Schultz at tight end. Okay. You know, not necessarily a needle mover. Lura Duvedet, Tardif at guard. Solid, but not great. William Golston coming over from the Tampa Bay Bucks. Jerry Hughes. So they got some veterans on the off uh, on the defensive line. Um, you know, linebackers are pretty much their linebackers. Brought in McKenzie Alexander in the slot. Troy Pride as well. So slot wide receivers like Xavier Woods at free safety coming over from the Vikings. I mean, J-Ron, you know, again, J-Ron Kirsch, I guess, yeah, had a little bit of a breakout with the Dallas Cowboys. But ultimately, I mean, this is not like a, oh, yeah, that's why they're 9-7. They went out and spent big-time money like they used to 
in free agency that you know jerry hughes probably wasn't cheap you know other than that uh, you can make a legit argument that it's you know I me mean, jacoby myers i think i know he's having a good year i was kind of looking at the stats there to see where Devontae smith was ranking and 1100 yards five touchdowns for jacoby myers so you know got that safety net for trevor lawrence on this offense but i mean this is a game that absolutely we fully expect to go in and I, I said we would look at this quickly at the end of the video, but I will just show you what kind of like stats are on the line to close out this regular season for our team. So one touchdown, yeah, that, just, just ignore the interceptions. This is a Brett Favre year, but one more passing touchdown. We get the 40 bomb for Zach Wilson, so that'd be pretty cool. From a rushing standpoint, maybe two rushing touchdowns for Miles Sanders getting 15 is a nice round number. Um, nothing too crazy for the receivers. You know, we got our 1,000 yards for Dallas Goddard. Devonte, I mean, just get, just keep feeding him. It'd be cool if we can continue to average that 100 yards a game. Quez, I mean, we forced the ball to Quez too much last week. That's kind of why we had the interceptions and turnovers that we did. So, I mean, from a passing standpoint, one touchdown getting 40 for Zach Wilson. And now knowing that we are going to commit to run the ball, hopefully a big game there for Miles Sanders and Kenny Gainwell combined would... Uh, Help their stats for you know big picture perspective at the end of the year on the defensive side of the ball i mean huge year for devin bush two tackles for hughes the rookie i'd love to get him 100 tackles uh from a sack standpoint maybe get a half sack for fletcher cox he had 14 and a half last year so that'd be cool just to beat that you know copy and paste pretty much identical seasons so it would be cool if we can get a you know not another pressure or two and bring the quarterback down with fletcher cox seven for javon hargrave six and a half josh sweat i uh, probably I probably will use your Fletcher Cox heavily in this game, but maybe a little bit Josh Sweat love. Uh, and on the interception standpoint, hey, let's try to get three picks for Darius Slay. All right, right? Ten picks. That'd be dope. Show that Trayvon Diggs not the only guy that can do that. And lastly, I think just keeping the streak alive. 27 to 27 for Jake Alley. We did miss an extra point, but whatever. It's all about the field goals. 27 to 27 with a long of 60. He's four. Let's like look at the look at the 59 and 9! For 50 plus, I, I just think, you know, respect the kickers. Kickers should have dev trading cases. You know, I, I don't know. I feel like they should. I don't know if we'll get one, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be kicker of the year. So, I mean, enough talking. We saw the Jags roster. We saw some of the stats that we're going to try, maybe not force, but try to achieve in week 18. So these guys can have some nice stats at the end of the year. But ultimately, it's all about getting a victory getting back on a win streak, picking up some momentum ahead of this playoff run. So without further ado, let's get into week 18 of the regular season. Okay, so I said, for fuck's sakes, man. Every time my depth chart never saves. Okay, that's a great TFL by Derek Burnett. But for some reason, my depth chart never saves. Because we're talking about maybe controlling Josh Sweat. He is out for the game. He has an injury. Picked up an injury at the end of last week, four weeks. Towards grind. And uh, we got to make Hughes linebacker. We got to make Javon Hargrave the sub D tackle backup so that we can get him on the field to fill in for Mr. Josh Sweat. So I think that's right. That's where we want it. I don't know why it's not saving. Like, obviously, I know it doesn't save in game. I'm, I'm editing it outside, like on my base depth chart. Just doesn't feel like saving. So that is kind of something that we are working through. But there, this is going to be our D-line for the next couple weeks. I think we can survive. So let's go with Fletcher Cox sitting on 14 and a half sacks. Let's do it. And he gets, he does not get the sack, but he definitely applies the first pressure. Gets Trevor Lawrence to scramble and a D Bush. Devin Bush gets a nice sack there, setting up a third and a mile. Now, again, this is all about padding our stats here. Winning the game, first and foremost, but padding our stats. Hopefully, he's going to be throwing it Darius Slay's way, sitting on seven interceptions. Oh, there's just another sack. A sack party. Damian Hughes, the rookie out of Ole Miss, brings down Trevor Lawrence. And we're forcing a punt fourth and a mile. Remember, this is a nine-win Jags team. Looking for win number 10. Very competitive. I think we're just going to show there's, there's levels to this. Okay? You're not on our level yet. For some reason, we get... Well, well not for some reason. But we got two... Kenny Gainwell runs start the game. Let's go run number two. Makes a guy miss... Able to get four yards on two carries, third and six. Want to get some rhythm back for the passing game. Three interceptions a week ago. Did get a garbage time touchdown to Devontae Smith. That is not the kind of passing offense rollover that you want into the postseason. So let's get things started off easy. Check down 10 yards to Devontae Smith. I'm done throwing it to Quez Watkins. 
I love Quest. He had that breakout game, but like any time I target this guy, like I, anytime I want to get the ball to Quest Walk, it's not Quest is wide open and we find him. Anytime I'm like, I'm going to Quest Walk, he's, look at this, just doesn't turn around. I mean, obviously his awareness is probably the shits, but man, you want to feed the guy and you're still stuck at the end of the day looking at my quarterback with 21 interceptions and maybe counting on the year. Not good enough. And that's, a, that's another one, too, where you're like, man, Darius Slay turns his head around. Like that, That's two back-to-back. -back. Fletch almost got the sack. Slay, I think he could have played that ball. It's just been a minute since he's got an uh, interception for Darius Slay. What happened to Fletcher Cox? BG with the sack, but what was that? There's no way this is stuff that I'm, uh, that I'm eating right now is that good. Right, you saw that. At first, I think what freeze frame. Look, at this. okay, Fletcher Cox, double team, fine. All right, pulled off, and that's a that's a tight end, Dalton Schultz, and then just right on. There's my game changer, my game wrecker on the defensive side of the ball, wanting to go ruin Trevor Lawrence's life, and uh, yeah. This is an Adam Sandler movie. They pause it on the remote. It pauses life. Is that an X Factor? Is that Dalton Schultz's X Factor in Madden 22? All right, we're going PA Crossers. I got hit up on Twitter. I'm going to run in PA. C4, you need to run more PA Crossers in franchise. So this is to you, Mr. Jones. Oh, yeah, baby. That's on you, baby. Let's go, Twitter. Let's go, Twitter. The kid from UCF is back in the F. And he's effing the J. Oh, we brought the blitz. Didn't get home. Terrible angle. Taken by Darius Slay, but Steven Nelson able to kind of wrap up there. Limit that gainer from Marvin Jones Jr. All right, we got him on third and six, boat midfield. Ben don't break in terms of field goal range. It'd be pretty cool. Javon Hargrave knocks him off the spot. That is a solid throw there. Standing through the pressure to find Visca Chanel. Oh, man. Oh, he's lucky. He is lucky. Calamore, Coach Calamore wanted him to get absolutely destroyed. All right, and there's Trey Flowers making the other team's worst player look like their best player. Ah, oh, man. I can't be mad at it, man. I'm a big James Robinson fan. That's a hell of a touchdown. Hell of a drive from Jacksonville, tying this thing back up. Oh, I'm, oh I don't want... I can, I'm almost going to be done giving 16 chances, man. Ah, uh, just throw it away. Good stand. I can't. Like, come on. What? What are we not finding here? Ninety-six throw power, quarterback. Ninety-seven speed, Quez. Just can't connect on the deep ball these last couple weeks. Hey, let's go. Another play action bomb. No catching the best wide receiver into the NFL. That's the forty-first touchdown. Of the season for Zach Wilson. 18th receiving for Devontae Smith. It's a hell of a connection. That's a hell of a connection to build on for the next five years. Look at that. Just outruns the Jags defense. Bad tackle. And then there's no way in a foot race. Xavier Woods. 87 speeds kept in, catching Devontae. Even keeping up with him. What is this? Was that real life? There we go. Sack. 15 and a half for big old Fletch Cox. Got a third and eight. I, I said I wouldn't do it. Said I wouldn't do it, but we'll give him a chance. Is that safety? We got enough time here. Oh, well. Yeah, look. B was there. Just wait. Just took too long. Another play where we said we're going to Quez and it fucks up. Every time.
Give it to him. Oh, no. Man, I like J-Rob. He needs to get out of Jacksonville. Urban Meyer hates him. Learn what coming up. I just give it to 25. Man, that guy's a goddamn road grader. Usually you say a road grader is like the guard, the center. No, it's James Robinson. He's a road grader. Just makes roads when they're not there. He has no speed, so I'm open slant. He just missed his eyes in the back of his head. Jumps out of the tackle. God damn. Well, at least we're finding like the, a decent level of resistance in these sliders for the you know the, the last couple weeks, last couple games. It's all been small tweaks here or there, and I, I think we're we're pretty close to where they need to be. Drop passes or for the Philadelphia Eagles. Who wants to be our like who wants to be our safety net to get this offense back on back on rhythm. It's gonna be Kenny G out the backfield. He drops it. Thinking about going for it. What does coach want? I am stuck with the house rule of going by the coach suggestions only. And I mean, I don't, you know, you could fake it here, but I meant more so the first page of coach suggestions. He wants to punt it. Here we go, get home. Turn that, burn that time up. Really, really impressed with our defensive front so far. Not so much the second level defenders and beyond. Let's try and get some points here. Like, can we go Devonte streaks? There's no safety. Someone has to test that safety. For the fact that they don't have one. Oh, another drop. That's a that's a tough. Okay, let's go. Pa crossers. This was a play I was told to run more. Oh, it's, it's got to be either a touchdown or a pick six. I know it. We don't really get what we want from the safety. I don't trust. I mean, there. Sure, he's open. Can we get that block? I mean, I can't forget Devon Smith, 109 pounds, soaking wet. That would have been nice to get that block. Quez might have been able to take that one to the house and completely redeem himself. Hey, I think that's going to be a late hit. Should be a good catch. Was a great catch. And we're going to half the distance to the goal. Oh, come on. Not slants. Give me a run play, coach. Really don't want this. But another touchdown for Devontae Smith's record. And I know right now, I'll tell you, right? I won't show you what play it was or what player. But someone has 20 touchdowns right now. Receiving. So that there gives Devontae 19. Maybe a chance to get 21 and see if he can get the record for the season. Turn to five. This is looking like a juicy Devontae Smith route. And it is. Oh, what? Field goal range. Coach wants to go for it. Okay. Okay. I would have kicked the field goal. Best kicker in the league. But more than five. Sure, coach. There's a lot of Miles Sanders pass pro. Step. Ooh, that was close. But great play by Dallas Goddard. Miles Jack. Great in coverage. Not good enough on that occasion. Let's go, Miles. Let's go, Miles. Up in to the five-yard line. Third and goal. Are they going to get like... That's our, that's our thing. They're stealing our gimmick of like great goal line defense. There we go. Close no cigar. Miles Sanders punches it in and gets his 14th rushing touchdown of the season as the Eagles extend their lead. 28 to 21. 38 coming up. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's, let's just make cover here. J-Rob. J-Rob's not beating us. Hey, let's do that, man. Could have been a late hit. Hold him to the field goal attempt, which it is blocked. Outstanding job from the special teams unit. Pick it up. Hey, there's a sack, a fumble. I think that was Trey Flowers coming up from safety. Pops that ball out. BG was there as well. Appreciate the effort by Brandon Graham. And then Javon Hargrave, already a sack on the day. Gets the fumble recovery. I think we're right in the red zone. All right, good run there, and Mylotta is down. 
Okay, never want to see any injuries week 18, let alone your franchise a left tackle. Hopefully it's a cramp. He's holding his arm. But then again, Josh Sweat last week hurt his arm, holding his wrist. Tore his grind. So, let's see. If I had to guess, I'm going to say torn labrum. And he's out for nine years. So that one's coming back. Fantastic. That's his replacement. Jones. Is that his name? Jones? James? Melvin Jones. What a piece of garbage. It's an abdominal tear. Will not return for this ab, ab tear. I don't know the severity of that in the world of Madden. Hopefully he's back for the playoffs. Let's go, Devontae. There you go. There you go. Is that 20? Is that 20? You're 20? Dude, what? Nice, dude. We got that that click ability on defense. Look at this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, that's a good rep. That's Amos TFL on the screen. J-Rob. Interesting to see. They're going to have to go for it. Fourth and 14. Probably going to be the game if they realistically want a chance at you know, getting two scores. And let's uh, make that not happen. Apply pressure. Well, that's just a drop by Dan Arnold. Glad that other players dropped the ball. That's great. Come on, Devontae. Oh, gets destroyed. Punt. They might have a chance. We didn't eat up a whole lot of clock there. Oh, come on. We're probably still going to go for it. We're a corner blitz. Who do we got? Ooh. Let's be huge. Let's make sure we drop into that space. Let's play a deep cover rep here. Come on, Slay. Be more aggressive. Where's the diving picks, Darius Slay? I feel like I've adjusted the sliders enough. I haven't seen a diving Darius Slay PBU animation in a minute. Wish those were back. Hey, BG getting in on the sack party. Second sack on the game. Just dominating the Jags O-line. They are taking their sweet old time here for being down, you know, two scores. Watch the middle of the field. Hey, Brandon Graham, third sack. This might be his last game ever. And he's on fire. And then Darius Slay gets his eighth pick of the year. The seal it. Eagles win. That's not a bad way to end your season. That is how you regain momentum. Defense outside of really a you know, missed tackle or two was very good. Uh, did have some turnovers. You see the four touchdowns for Zach Wilson. Doesn't really tell the full story there. Uh, but it is a 35-21 victory over a very competent AFC playoff contender Jacksonville Jaguar team. Four touchdowns, one interception, 324 yards. Lawrence, I mean, threw the ball a lot. Uh, the pick only came on a last-ditch heave. So, I mean, it wasn't a bad game by Trevor Lawrence. Uh, 97 yards and a touchdown from Al Sanders, 46-4. Kenny G, we had six catches, 60, 84 yards, sorry, for Quez Watkins. Buck 38 and three for Devontae Smith. Uh, Benson had the touchdown. PA Crosser's baby. Glad to add that to our wheelhouse. Uh, the two first round, uh, first round picks having their day. We have eight tackles, a TFL and a sack for Damian Hughes. Nine tackles, a TFL and a sack for David Amos. Three sacks BG. Two sacks Javon Hargrave. Throwing one for Fletcher Cox. Bush Flowers. It's a sack by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sacks on the game. Eighth interception of the year for Darius Slay. And I think, yeah, I think we recaptured a little bit of momentum ahead of the playoffs. And I think with this victory, secure the NFC East for the Philadelphia Eagles. At the end of the game, we get upgrades for Kenny G. Let's work on... I don't, I don't hate pumping the points into receiving back because he is our third down back. Let's keep working on that. Plus three catching is nice. We have an upgrade for Melvin Jones. Oddly enough, this is a player that we need to talk about because Jordan Mylotta picked up an injury. Don't know the length or severity. 
And Jones could be our starter at left tackle for a playoff run, which is exactly not what you want to see. There's an injury. It's probably my Lada. It's four weeks. Ah. You know, it's one of those things. Like, how many times? This is probably the second time we've had an injured tackle. That if we didn't make that Andre Dillard for Devin Bush trade with the Steelers, plus what was a second round pick included in that, that depth could be useful at this point. That's a bummer. So we'll sim here to the wild card where we are taking on the Carolina Panthers. 9 and 8, Christian McCaffrey and company, which is, uh, you know, it's a good game. The two seed. 49ers got the bye. We already know this. And, um, I mean, there's not much else we can talk about all that stuff. We'll, we'll uh, focus on next week. I did say what we want to do to end this episode. Side of getting the victory, even though Dallas also won. Side of winning the NFC East, which we did. And getting a victory, which we did, was to finish out looking at this. Okay, I mean, for sliders, I, I think, again, honestly, I'm I am like them where they're at. For at least one more week, Like I I'm confident taking these sliders in to the first round of the playoffs. Uh, but I want to look at the stats, looking around the league, what everyone else has done. What has our players done in comparison? So let's get a quick little look-see here. So we will look at the uh, NFL, and then I guess the Philadelphia Eagles, because I just think that's more makes a little bit more sense. Big picture, and then a little bit more personable. So on the passing front, Tom Brady, my God, should be MVP. 5,500 passing yards, 53 touchdowns to 11 picks. Matt Ryan, Mac Jones, and Patrick Mahomes all went over 5,000 passing yards. For the touchdowns, I guess in terms of 40 bombs, 53 for Tom Brady, 46 for Mac Jones, 46 for Patty Mahomes, 45 for Aaron Rodgers, and 43 for Zach Wilson, uh, 39 for Daniel Jones, also kind of surprised. Man, that's, I didn't think anyone would be close to our 43 and 21 that we put up with Zach Wilson. There's Daniel Jones waving over there, looking like, you know, I don't know, doesn't want to be there. It looks like the kind of guy you'd see that like installs bathtubs. 39 touchdowns, 19 picks. Uh, from a rushing standpoint, Derrick Henry got the crown beaten out. Our very own Miles Sanders. We gotta remember, Miles Sanders missed a game or two to injury. That's why his average is a little bit higher. Who knows? We, we could have the rushing champ. But second place is not too, too bad for Miles Sanders. Uh, we have Dalvin Cook going over 1,000. McCaffrey, Zeke, Josh Jacobs, Joe Mixon, Aaron Jones, Jonathan Taylor, Alvin Kamara, Melvin Gordon, Austin Eckler, Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, Javante Williams, Jesus, that's a huge year for him too, 11 and 19. David Montgomery, Antonio Gibson, Chris Carson, Kareem Hunt, Damian Harris, Devin Singletary, J.K. Dobbins, DeAndre Swift, and J-Rob, the man we just seen all going over 1,000 yards. Unfortunately for Clyde Edwards, Elair, four yards short, 19 touchdowns. See, Trey Sermon had 21, Mike Davis with 19. Some big-time vultures going on here in the NFL. James Conner with 16. On a receiving front. Undisputed, Devontae Smith, 1,700 yards on 101 catches, 20 touchdowns. This was the guy he had to catch, Amari Rodgers. Breakout year for the Green Bay Packers, 115 receptions, 1,500 yards, 20 touchdowns. But we were able to capture that three-touchdown performance against the Jags in Week 18. He is wide receiver one in the NFL. Suppose looking for all the 1,000 yarders. Yeah, Calvin Ridley, Chris Godwin, Christian Kirk, Mike Evans, Tyler Boyd, Terry McLaurin, Kenny Galladay, Stephon Diggs, Mary Cooper, Russell Gage, T. Higgins, Tyreek Hill, Deontay Johnson, Traquan Smith. There's a surprise. Keenan Allen, Jarvis Landry, Debo, Kendrick Bourne, David Moore. Another surprise. Jacoby Myers, Josh Reynolds. Kind of another surprise. George Kittle, DeAndre Hopkins, Jamar Chase, Michael Thomas, Jerry Judy, DK Metcalf, Nikhil Harry. Putting it all together for the Patriots. Finding a working chemistry, working relationship with Mac Jones. We had Kelsey Fully, Fuller, old Dallas Goddard making it there. Huge year from him, 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns. But we'll look at more of that when we look at our own team. Devontae Parker over 1,000, Brian Edwards, Nelson Aguilar, Julio Jones, Marvin Jones, Mike Williams, Brandon Cooks, Brandon Ayuk, Scotty Miller, Juju Smith-Schuster, Demarcus Robinson, Darnell Mooney, Keelan Cole, Justin Jefferson, and Mandrews himself. A lot of 1,000-yard receivers. Team's just throwing it a lot more in today's NFL. From a sack standpoint, this guy, I'm not going to give him credit. That's not enough snaps. So no one pitched a shutout. Defensively, Roquan Smith led the NFL with 151 tackles. Your TFL leader is J.J. Watt with 25. I mean, this is always big picture as well. It doesn't take, like, we don't even have Fletcher Cox up there right now. But uh, I guess pending, your sack leader is Von Miller with 18 and a half. Hell of a year for him, even though he obviously, yes, gone this franchise started before he got traded. 
Interceptions leader is a big play, Darius Slay. Eight interceptions, even though I do think Sidney Jones has eight as well. Could have seven, 18 PBUs as well. A massive year for Darius Slay. Where, what team was Jones on, Seattle? No, just a sec, I wanna, ah uh, no, that's gonna take too much time. Uh, what else we gotta look at here? So we have the defense, interceptions. I mean, people, what else we got, forced fumbles? Biggest hitter, Marcus May, Gator Bias. Let's look at the kicker, Jake Elliott, where he sits. Most field goals, most field goals made. 27 to 27, 100%. Let's go. Best kicker. Should make an absolute lock for the Pro Bowl. So finishing up with our own Eagles. A little special here for Philly. Look at Sibos, the punter. We had no return touchdowns. I don't even want to. That's a disgraced unit right now. 44 punts, 19 of them were gongs, technically. That's that's a pretty good ratio. We're having, we know 50% of the time when we punt the ball, it's getting down within the 20. Obviously, Jake Elliott, outstanding year. Defensively, 129 tackles, 18 TFLs, three and a half sacks, Devin Bush. 106, 13 TFLs, two and a half sacks for the rookie, Damian Hughes. 88 tackles for Trey Flowers. 87 tackles, four TFLs, second and a half, two picks for David Amos, the highest drafted safety maybe of all time, debatably, depending on who you ask. Um... Sack front, we had 20 TFLs, 15 and a half sacks for Fletcher Cox, 16 TFLs, 9 sacks, Javon Hargrave. Happy to give this guy a new contract extension uh, earlier in this year. 12 TFLs, 6 and a half sacks, Josh Sweat. We have 9 and 5 and a half for BG. Um, I think that's pretty much all there needs to be said there. Interception front, 8 picks, Derry Slay, 2 Amos, 2 Steven Nelson, 1 for Avante Maddox. Blocking front, I, I hate looking at the sacks. It just feels like... Way too many sacks, and I don't think they're all on the offensive line, but uh, those are the pass blocking numbers. Receiving 101 receptions, 1,700 yards, 20 touchdowns of Vonde Smith, 85 catches, 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns for Dallas Goddard, 761, and only two touchdowns for Quez Watkins, 343 and two for Benson, 270 and two for Jalen Ragger, uh, 200 yards for Miles Sanders. So I definitely want to use our running backs with the backfield a little bit more. That's probably the one takeaway from looking at all these stats that I. You know, in terms of improvement, self-scouting, where can you get better? 1,700 yards, 14 touchdowns, Miles Sanders, 570 and 2 for Zach Wilson, so a dual threat. Uh, 446 and 3 for Kenny Gainwell. And lastly on the passing front, 4,600 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, 21 interceptions for Zach Wilson. I mean, there's a chance. I'm, I'm just going to, I don't even want to look, but let's look. I, you know, this is, this is going to be something that we can kind of uh, hold our head high. I think, do we have the best dual threat quarterback in the NFL, who has, does anyone have more than 570 rushing yards? I'm looking at all these quarterbacks, it's not going to be a lot of scramblers of the bunch. It's only a couple. I just I just don't know if they got traded or not. And, you know, there could be like a sneaky, like I said, Daniel Jones. So, oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Quickly on that, Lamar Jackson. A better rushing quarterback than Zach Wilson, but not by a lot. Not by a long mark. So, those are the final season stats when we come back, which I don't know when it'll be. It might be Sunday, could be Monday. We will have the wild card round of the playoffs against the 9 and 8 Carolina Panthers. So thank you very much for tuning on to today's video. As always, if we can smash the thousand like goal for this video, that would be amazing. And if it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. That'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you for spending a little bit of your Saturday with me. I'll see you back on the next one. Peace out.